Lovely grayling of the monster, but uh, I'm just very pleased about this because I got him. I got uh, him, her, uh, who knows, it's a boy or girl, on the dry fly. I just thought I was warming up a bit, I might get one on the dry fly. And uh, this is me fishing the River Annan, St. Mungo Beat. And look at that. Beautiful grayling, no monster. But that's what we came here for, on the dry fly. But these little charming things here that are just rising, just over there gently, are the most exquisite, unexpected pleasure to catch. Delightful bit of dry fly fishing, just for this. This is real winter fishing, par excellence. Um, that was amazing, it was just a <coughs> few minutes there, 20 minutes where <coughs> the grayling started to rise at the tail of this long stretch here, which I reckon at the right height is, looks like a good bit of water for salmon fishing. See a few salmon rolling here on the island, but uh, it was quite nice. I like that kind of fishing when you just uh, see a little rise and you I came up because I thought this bend will be a bit warmer than the bend I was fishing down there. It should catch the last rays of the sun. It just warmed up enough to throw a few insects up for 20 minutes, and I'd figured it out and got there on the day, as it were. And uh, so I caught a few tiny little grayling, but I guess that's the thing with fishing. For me, anyway, it's not always how big the fish is. It's, it's kind of like when they slot in, you know, when you, you've you made the made the sum up. And uh, for once in a while, one and one make three. Um, so it's quite a sort of magical moment, you know. And I think it's those kind of magical stolen moments that make the best kind of fishing, you know, it really is. Um, so that's really made my day having that little hatch of Abidu. It is so cold, man. Oh, I'm not looking at the video. You can see what a burk I look all wrapped up. Hang on, I'll turn the camera around. Yes, genuine Burke, no doubt about it, I'm still bloody cold.